Thanks, man. It's nice to see you all on the tube, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, morning YouTube, or afternoon, wherever you are, we're doing a release comparison video. We have our <clears throat> true fire releases, the ones me and Isaac like to shoot. These are the releases Isaac shoots in competition, so these are kind of your high-end archery releases. Also, we got merch, we got hats, check it out, the website's going to be in the description below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our videos. Thank you for everybody who's been blowing it up. It's been getting sick, we're super close to a thousand, and we're getting stoked. Thank you. So Isaac bought this Cupid C2 Archer release of Amazon. Mainly because he needed a couple more bucks to get free shipping. So we decided that it would be kind of fun <laughs> to do an interesting Cupid release. They both actually feel quite decent in your hand. The main difference when you can feel them though is when you press, is when you click the triggers in. The True Fire's got a little bit more of an actual click to it when you, when you lock it in. It's a lot smoother going in, which is standard for a high-end release. This release was 260. 260, 260 bucks. This release was about 20. So a big difference. You're going to find a massive difference. If you're an entry-level shooter, this won't really make that much of a difference to you. You don't need to go out and spend the $300. Um, it is nice. They are really nice to shoot. This release should be able to do the job as well just fine. Um, but no guarantees because we haven't actually shot it yet. I'm going to pull out to the side that way. If this thing blows up, it doesn't take my teeth out. <laughs> well, that was better than I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't blow up. How'd it feel? Um, actually not terrible. Like, there was definitely a bunch of travel in it. But, I mean, for 25 bucks, this thing actually felt really good. I'm going to take a couple more shots with it. That way when I walk outside, I know that it's not going to just blow up on me. It feels really comfortable. Like, it actually fits my hand really, really well. So, that part, I'm kind of surprised at. I mean... It sounds like you're grinding gears when you do shoot it, but it's got a bunch of travel. It's kind of a stiff trigger on it. Um, but, you know, I'm pulling 60 something pounds, 61, 62 pounds out of this thing. So, I don't know. It's, it's made it to full draw at least a couple times. So, this is how most of our videos on hunts go. Isaac is walking around the house. Usually looking for stuff, he just walked in and out of his bedroom five times. And he also gets to pick that up because I can't lift it yet. And he is full of... <laughs> <laughs> Get going, you fuss. I'm not 100% sure what the distance is here. Oh, that'd be a bear shot. <laughs> I think we're shooting about... Oh, that wind is cold. That wind's cold. <laughs> it's probably around minus 15 Celsius right now. Yeah, in like November. <laughs> in November. We've got a bunch of snow lately, and it's probably, I don't know, 5 mile an hour wind, 10 mile an hour wind. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, that one's solid. Yeah, that was good. That was decent. It's just about inside out. I'm freezing now. Yo, what? This is going to be fast. <laughs> this is going to be fast. That, All was, right. that was nice. That Both of those are looking. I think the last one went off a little bit low. Yeah, it did low left. But not bad, not bad. All right. Definitely workable. I see room for improvement. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're about to shoot this release, so I don't know. No sky draw. Yeah, scary. Ooh, you shot an eight high left, high right. What? Yep. Interesting. We're only at twenty yards as well. We're not actually that far out. No. The wind's picking up, going right through me. I even put my underwear on. Where's that? I don't know. It's 
second. Better. You're a high right nine though. Yeah, you're about a 2.30, o'clock. Oh, you might have. No, you might. I don't know. You just got the 10? Just got the 10. Here so the, the two, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's how people die in archery, man. Yeah. <laughs> Watch it. We got two X's from the regular release. We got a nine and a 10 from the other one. So, I mean, when I shoot, I can feel it like hesitate. Like right after I shot, there's like a moment when it's like the, it doesn't quite let go of the string yet. So it like mostly lets go of the string, but it like lets it out by a quarter of an inch and then it decides, oh yeah, we got to shoot here. <laughs> so. And this is why you don't have to buy like the high end gear all the time, but definitely mid grade stuff. Yeah, it's definitely with the it'll, way to go. It'll make quite a bit of a difference. Like those shots, both of them felt good. I mean, sure I'm cold, but they both felt good. So I'm going to shoot the Amazon release first now. Cupid C2. How's the hesitation on that one? High right, 10. Yeah, I can feel it. Like, the release goes. I go to follow through, and then it like, oh, yeah, I got to shoot now. So it's kind of like the mix between, like, a like a thumb press and a back tension on them. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of what it feels like, actually. <laughs> That's funky. It's definitely not going in the same spot as... Uh, let's see where those... Yeah, let's see where those two went. They're going way off to the right. Holy, yeah, that... That's pulling. Sorry about the camera blur, ladies and gentlemen. That feels so much better. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, you're shooting your true fire now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm sh I shot the first two with the other one, and then second two with the true fire. Do you want to say a massive shout out to X Shot for the lenses that we're shooting? Yeah, they're super clear. Um, I actually have a Swarovski lens. Uh, coming in and I'll do a quick comparison on that because you can't really get any higher quality than Swarovski um, So I'll do a quick comparison on those two and see See which one I like better like Swarovski you can't get any higher end so no, we'll, but we'll try that X shots a company that is starting out out of medicine out of, out of uh, Right south of Calgary out of Alberta. Just, yeah, the guy's not a He's so. pretty sweet dealt with them a fair bit and yeah. It's really good if you guys if you want lenses for the good quality and a good price, definitely check out X Shot. That description's gonna be below. down below. And we will yeah, like I've there's super clear lenses, really easy to set up. But here we go. So this is with the true fire, so we got another two X's, and then this is with, with the Cupid release. And that's an eight, and that's a nine. So I mean I'll shoot I'll shoot one more end with it. And uh, at this point at this point, I know it's not me because, like, I've hit four X's with my regular release, and I've hit, well, I haven't hit a single X with the other one. Yeah. I've hit one ten, um, a ten, two nines, and an eight, and this is only twenty yards. So for for the release to affect, I don't know, it's got to be that much, maybe even a little bit more than that. All much. of two inches, yeah. Sometimes just at just at twenty yards, like. I couldn't imagine what this thing's going to look like at 50 yards. I would be interested to take it out to the range on a warmer day. Yeah, on a warmer <laughs> day is for well, sure. Well, those have got big flax too, and I wouldn't be too concerned about, oh, that's a that's chilly cold. wind. Focus pad one. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> that's a low 10. <laughs> Might be X, but this is with the true fire. So I'm taking the first two shots with the true fire. The first one broke low. What are, we, what are we looking like? I think I've got a low 10 and then an X. Yeah, yeah, I'd call it that. Yeah. I want a line judge for that X though. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I might have gotten my second 10 with it. <laughs> well, that'd be nice. But holy cow. It is so cold out here. <laughs> you see the tree in the top, top of the screen is just shaking, going nuts. Isaac shivering, I'm shivering. What do you think about that? Uh, I felt like this release just feels bad. Like it feels cheap. Um, so 
I don't know. I I got oh I got an axe, boy. Oh, I a so I got an X and a 10 with the Cupid, and then I got a 10 and an X with the other release. I mean, it is so cold out here. We've been out here for, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. I don't even know if it's been that. I don't even know if it's been 10 minutes, and it's just so cold out here. Um, you want to bring the target in? Yeah, I'll bring the target in. But, yeah, once I get inside, we'll, we'll do a quick review on it. <laughs> We're not doing it out here. <laughs> so after reviewing um, the releases, the, uh, this release just kind of had some issues with trying to release it would kind of you would shoot it and then it would kind of go off about a second and a half later which was affecting my shots by it had to be a solid inch inch and a bit so this would be a good beginner's release kind of something just to kind of test the waters on shooting a thumb button wouldn't really recommend it for any high-end shooting but to kind of just get just get started this release didn't blow up on me which I was impressed at um, but without question, I'll be glad to just keep shooting these releases because they're super crisp. Um, but yeah, for the amount of money, I mean, it did pretty well. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Out. Again. Goodbye. See ya.